The mystery pisser has remained at large for six days on The Bachelorette but it seems we've zoned in, with his identity being leaked. Hey, on Wednesday night's episode, making it even better as it all comes to light when Jared wearing a plush giraffe on he hurls. The allegations at Blake wearing a plush elephant on Essie with an unfortunately placed trunk, in a fiery argument on the patio over a Mexican feast. In case you've missed this complex storyline, I'll try get you up to speed. Jared an oddly tall fellow with a really pink face has a pot plant and someone pissed in it. Well, I guess it's not that complex. I'm in two minds about Jared. On one hand I want him eliminated just so I can see if his face gets any more flush than what it is in its natural state. But on the other hand, I want him to be in the final two just because I'm loving the pot plant story arc so much, and I want it to last until the finale. Speaking of the pot plant, let's check in with it, but before we talk any more about P, we have to sit through an unstimulating date with Stu it's still unclear why Stu is here, he's the heir to a $500 million fortune and I'm pretty sure he's just signed up out of sheer boredom because what else do you do when you're born into a hospitality empire, we all believe the rumors that Sophie chooses to in the end and I just don't get it, he's got Eddie McGuire vibes, talks like a sports commentator and he uses that kind of gel that makes his hair look wet and crunchy. The only important part about this date is Sophie's wearing a purple silk jumpsuit and I would like to wear it myself around the house and to social events. Back at the mansion, Sam is jealous of Stu scoring a single date, and he makes a revelation that positively rocks the case of Jared's pot plant and the mystery. Pisser? Stu is older. He urinates a lot. I hope Sophie's aware of that. He needs more wee time than any of us. Sam confides. This intel is a game changer. Yes, Stu only entered the competition last Wednesday, but in the 24 hours between his arrival and Jared discovering the annihilation of his plant, it's highly possible Stu suffered an unfortunate accident and was forced to chuck a whiz has on the plant. My theory is strong. But apparently Stu is not the culprit, and it all comes out during the group date. Sophie has decided to set the outing at some random's home and she gets all the boys to dress up in animal onesies. He's looking for a fight, so when Sophie suggests a game where all the boys write down anonymous questions for each other and put them in a bowl, he seizes the opportunity. The boys howl with laughter and it makes Jared angrier. He lashes out at the man he thinks unleashed on his plant. Blake, you said you pissed on the plant? Jared howls. In this moment, Jared learns a cruel life lesson, it's extremely difficult to be taken seriously when you're wearing a giraffe on a sea and shrieking, about a pot plant. We're also reminded that watching two men in a screaming match is one of the most unattractive, things to witness. Within without the animal on a seas, I jump in to correct him that's it's a fight about piss but he shoots me a look and I go back, to scooping mince into a taco. Away from the group. Sam secretly reveals to us information that could end the drama altogether. He confirms the identity of the mystery pisser. This whole thing is beautiful for me. Blake's my brother and I know he pissed in it. He whispers.